The Pumpkin Book by Gail Gibbons. Pumpkins come in all shapes and sizes. Pumpkins are members of the squash family. There are many different kinds of pumpkins. Small pumpkins, big pumpkins, round pumpkins, tall pumpkins. Gardeners and farmers call them pumpkin varieties. Some pumpkins have a smooth skin and others have lots of bumps. Here's some different pumpkin varieties. Dill's Atlantic Giant, Jack B. Little, Baby Bear, Connecticut Field, Lumina, Big Max, Red October, Small Sugar Pie, Trick or Treat. In the springtime, when the sun's rays begin to warm the soil, it is planting time. Some gardeners turn the soil to get it ready to plant a small pumpkin patch. A pumpkin patch is where pumpkins are grown. Some farmers use their plows to slice through and turn over the dirt. The field will eventually be a huge pumpkin patch. The soil is ready. It is time to plant the pumpkin seeds. The beginning of a pumpkin is curled up inside each pumpkin seed. Food is stored here, there too. The seed has a seed coat on the outside to protect it. The bigger the seed, the bigger the variety of pumpkin that will grow. And up here is a diagram of a pumpkin seed. You can see the seed coat, the food, and then the beginning of a pumpkin. Sometimes pumpkin seeds are planted in rows. Other times they are planted in small circular areas called hills. Several shallow holes, holes are poked into the hill and one pumpkin seed is dropped into each hole and covered with dirt. Each hill should be about three feet to six feet apart to give the plants lots of room to grow. A pumpkin seed won't sprout until the dirt is warm and water has soaked the seed to soften its coat. Once the seed coat breaks open, a root begins to grow down into the soil. It takes in water and minerals from the soil for food. And there's the root going down into the ground. After about one week, two leaves appear where each pumpkin seed was planted. These smooth leaves are called seed leaves. They begin to make an air. These are the seed leaves. After a few days, small pumpkin vine leaves appear. These leaves look different. They are prickly and have rough, jagged edges. More new vine leaves will grow. Stems begin to grow and twist, crawling along the ground as they become vines. These are the pumpkin vine leaves, and this is the vine. The vines grow thicker and th thicker. They grow curly tendrils that wrap themselves around other parts of the plant to help spread the vines. Gold-colored flowers begin to bloom. These are the tendrils that are curly, and this is the flower. A pumpkin begins to grow when a grain of pollen from the stamen of a maple pumpkin male pumpkin flower lands on the stigma of a female pumpkin flower. This is called pollination. Sometimes pollen moves from flower to flower when the wind blows. Bees and other insects help pollinate too. Pollen rubs on and off their bodies as they travel from flower to flower in search of nectar. Nectar is the sweet juice flowers make. This is the stamen, and this is the pollen, the male flower. This is the stigma, and this is the female flower. The female flower has a small green ball beneath its blossom. When the flower is pollinated, the little ball begins to grow. It is a very, very small pumpkin. There's the small pumpkin. Over time, it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. The pumpkin skin begins to turn from green to orange. All of the pumpkins in the pumpkin patch begin to turn orange. In the fall, when the vines begin to dry up and die, it is harvest time. It usually takes from 80 to 120 days, depending on the variety, for a seed to grow into a ripened pumpkin. It is ready to pick if it feels hard on the outside and sounds hollow when it is tapped. Often, shears are used to clip the pumpkins from their vines, leaving about three inches of stem. This stem helps to keep the harvested pumpkin from getting moldy. During the fall, more and more pumpkins of many shapes and sizes appear at roadside stands and in stores. Fall makes people think of country fairs. Sometimes awards are given for the biggest, the prettiest, or the strangest pumpkin grown. 
The biggest pumpkin ever grown was in New York State in 1996. It weighed about as much as a small car, 1,061 pounds. At fairs, there are pumpkin pie tasting contests too. When the pilgrims came to the New World, friendly Native American Indians showed them how to plant pumpkins. Often, the Indian women were the pumpkin farmers of their tribes. The pilgrims ate pumpkins every day in different forms such as pumpkin bread, pumpkin pie, and pumpkin seed cereal. Thanksgiving reminds people of the pilgrims' first harvest season. They wanted to give thanks for the food they would have through the cold winter months. They celebrated by having a Thanksgiving feast. Halloween is on October 31st. A long time ago, people believed that ghosts, witches, and goblins, goblins roamed around that night. Some people built bonfires to scare them away. Later, October 31st was called All Hallows Even, which means the night before a church festival called All Hallows or All Saints Day. All Hallows Even was shortened to Halloween. Today, Halloween is celebrated in different ways. There are pumpkins. It's great fun to carve pumpkins into what you want them to be. Funny pumpkins, scary pumpkins, beautifully carved pumpkins. Up here it tells how to carve a pumpkin. Step one, always have an adult help you. Step two, take a knife that is not too sharp or a special cutter used for carving pumpkins and cut the lid off the pumpkin. Step three, take a big spoon and scoop out the seeds and insides of the pumpkin. You can save the seeds to dry and eat later or to plant for next year's pumpkins. Step four, draw the design you want using a pencil or a washable marker. Step five, cut along the lines you drew. Be careful and always carve away from yourself. Step six, wipe away any magic head back on your pumpkin. It's ready for Halloween. Some people place a candle or a light inside and light it so the pumpkin will shine in all its glory on Halloween night. Always have an adult place the light in the candle. Other, people's decorate, other people decorate pumpkins with paint, glitter, and other decorations. These pumpkins can last a long time because they haven't been carved. No two pumpkins are alike. They all have their very own personalities. All lined up on Halloween night, they are glow, a glowing sight to behold. Isn't it amazing that all it, this all began with a few small pumpkin seeds? Glow, pumpkins, glow. The end.